16-year-old student behind bars this morning for attempted homicide after attacking a fellow classmate. Fox 40's Clyde Estefanian is live at Monterey Trail High School in Elk Grove where this incident took place. Claudette, good morning. Good morning. Such a distressing story, Richard and Melanie. You know, we've been on this story all throughout the morning. I was driving when the father of the victim asked me to pull to the side, saying that his son, Kwame Curry Jr., was the one who was attacked. Now, here are some of the photos of Kwame Curry Jr., who was the victim in the attack. A spokesperson with the district confirmed a student was hit by a blunt object in the cafeteria yesterday. Videos have been circulating on social media. Showing Knowing someone carrying a fire extinguisher, then hitting another person with it, knocking that person straight to the ground. Authorities were called to the school Wednesday afternoon when a student was having trouble breathing. Sacramento Sheriff's deputies say after investigating the situation, they learned the victim had suffered blunt force trauma to the upper body by another student. Deputies say video of the alleged assault surfaced, and deputies identified and arrested the suspect. Kwame Curry Sr. updated, updated us on his son's progress. I mean, he's doing, he's, he's doing as well as he can. Um, he's, you know, he's, 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 he's really sore. He's hurting. I, you know, we've been, you know, monitoring him all night. I really didn't, you know, sleep. I, you know, uh, um, slept by him and, you know, just kind of just monitored him and. The principal of Monterey Trail High School has responded addressing all students and parents saying, quote, site administration will be working closely with safety and security staff and law enforcement to investigate, determine support needs for students and staff and any further appropriate action. Now back out here live, you're taking a look at the school that's just behind me. You're seeing some sheriff's deputies vehicles that are just in the distance. Now we are hearing that the school has beefed up campus police. They've also brought in more counselors for today based off what's happened. And as far as the suspect in this attack, he has been arrested on attempted homicide charges. We're also hearing that he is being held without bail. And of course, the sheriff's department is not issuing any other details at this time, but they are urging anyone who does have relevant information to reach out to them. Reporting live from Elk Grove, Claudette Stefanian, Fox 40 News.